Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Damien Saga on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Damien Saga and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5 which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Damien Saga. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, the first thing to do is to open our favorite browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to the next URL that I'm highlighting in green. Now, you can discover on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type it, simply because there's the link in the description of this video in the first pinned comment. We ended up there on our website of Usatility, where we get a detailed information on the best way to download Damien Saga on PC. We search lower a bit and simply click on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on the link, we get to the website of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to run to play Damien Saga on PC. As you can see from here we access some pros of using that emulator. So we are on the way to start downloading the Damien Saga by clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green. We then click on it. Of course, the download action starts and ends immediately. Here it is, this is the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to launch the installer, so we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the device. We said yes. I minimize the web browser to find the installer better. The installation software is really simple. It includes two options, install and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path truly does. We simply click on it. And then we note that we have here the path where your emulator will be set up. If we wish to change for better this folder we must click on the browse option, therefore we opt for another directory and set up the emulator where we choose. I will set it by default. I simply click back. And therefore I click on install. Great. The installation starts and it will continue with the download of those MB that are displayed on our screen. After you download it, it could possibly be more or less MB. The download speed may go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, depending on your connection and depending on the data transfer rate of the emulator servers. Now they are running super fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate eco mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator has actually been started automatically. As you can discover, at the bottom of the screen, there is a progress bar that will advance to the right so when it reaches the finish, the emulator is launched for the first time. The reality is the emulator has already been launched, here it is for the first time. Before we continue on, as you can see, it made two icons here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is the one we're concerned about. Every time we choose to run Damien Saga on the laptop or computer, we double mouse click on this specific icon and run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we conduct the next step, that is a must, and that's to access the Google Play Store. And we are going to click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is launched. There we have to sign in. So now once we are there, we must accomplish the following step that is mandatory. So we mouse click on, sign in. Presently it announces, checking info. It could sometimes get stuck in, checking info, and it doesn't move forward. In that case, you can try to log in in after a few hours and it will usually be solved. At this time we're going to enter our email and password. The email must be a Gmail email address as well as its corresponding password. For example you can utilize the exact same email address you are using at the moment in your YouTube account. Then I will enter my data and I'll go back as soon as I have completed it. Voila, info entered. This is Google welcoming us and offering us the terms of service. We should consent to them by clicking, I agree. Following that, it allow us to save to the Google Cloud. You can leave it checked and it'll create a backup of your data on this device to Google Drive. 
I won't select it. You can use that feature if you desire. We click on Accept. The Google Play Store is launched by default and automatically. To install the game, we have got to get to the emulator desktop by clicking on that icon designated in green. At this point that we are discovering the desktop of the emulator, we see that we now have here the install app option. We click on the button. On this page we have got the game. Why don't we click there on the install button that I'm just presenting now in green. This action will commence the installation. At present it will download and install the Android game, it can take a while or it could also be almost immediate. This all is determined on our connection to the internet. This has already ended setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this particular button that I am highlighting in green, to be able to launch Damien Saga for the first time. I am already on the emulator desktop, and consequently we are about to click on that brand new Damien Saga icon that has been generated. That game is launched for the first time. Currently there we have it, I can also press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to comment on the volume of the emulator. It is here. We have got the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume, this way we will not use the windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. And also to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we can turn on the big screen, for which we have two options. This one is simply the first one, we click on this icon that I'm showing in green color. Thus the display screen is maximized, coming with one border at the top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Granted that we would like to enjoy the video game in full screen, we hit this application icon. And thus we would probably at present be enjoying the video game in full screen mode. To exit the 100% screen setting, press the F11 key. And additionally we would undoubtedly at present be in normal screen mode. At this point, I am choosing to show you the computer keyboard mapping which is actually very enjoyable. That way we will be ready to play the video game a lot more easily. The first point is to click on this software icon. And right now there you will be able to make the necessary adjustments. I will let the standard configuration, but if you need to modify that, you can do it now without having problem. As you can observe, the emulator is entirely in our language. From time to time it happens that the emulator is launched in the erroneous language, such as, in Chinese. And thus to set it up in the proper language we go here to the cogwheel. So here within other configurations, we click on the, language, drop down. We will determine the language we want, English, Japanese, and so forth. When the language is decided, we would save, the emulator will restart, and also the game, the next time we use it, will of course be in the selected language. At this time, there is another aspect that we must take into account, and it is that we will get an email saying that a new electronic device has been linked to our own Google account. It will check with us if we're the individuals who have connected that electronic device. Yes, we should not get worried, considering that the emulator is emulating in Google Android electronic device. So you can find which device is being emulated, we come here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. Be sure to browse here to the, model, option. And right here we see that the emulator is acting as a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for this tutorial. I believe you liked it, especially that everyone found it useful. In this case, offer it a nice like, subscribe to my channel, and any feedback, questions or ideas, leave them in the comment box down below. You could also leave comments on my Twitch channel, I do live streams every now and then, you have it listed below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Just click on any of these video tutorials which are usually showing up on the suggestion of videos to watch and see you in the next instructional videos. Bye.